Oh. Oh, oh, God. Oh, the storage room is finally clean. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Triton Crowd. It's so exciting to be here. We're continuing our journey in 1.19. Really, really loving it. I cannot wait to check out all of the other stuff that we have in this update. But we are clean as a whistle down here. There's nothing down here. I got everything taken care of. I'm so, 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 so thrilled. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to do. If you guys remember at the end of the last episode, we were down inside of our little green room down here where we have all of these different projects that eventually at some point in this uh, game series life, we'll take care of like this one that I still no idea what that means. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I don't want to do the random projects just yet. What I want to do is I want to focus on the 1.19 stuff here. Frog Lake Farm and find an ancient city. Now, by far, the thing that I am more excited about for the 1.19 update are frogs. Frogs, frog lights, all the mangrove stuff, all those different things. I want to build a frog light farm. And if you guys recall, when I created that 1.17 village uh, a long way away, because I went from the magical village, I went like 10,000 blocks out and then I built a nether portal. It actually popped out in the nether right next to a bastion that I took over. I had an emerald beacon in there. You guys will remember that. We'll see that probably pretty soon here. Uh, but that has a magma cube spawner in it. And if frogs eat magma cubes, then frogs will poop out frog lights. So that is what we are gonna start working on today is uh, figuring out where the frogs are gonna spawn and how we're gonna get them to the nether, how we're gonna get them to a frog light farm and build a rudimentary little farm with a little collection system and then we will have all of the frog lights we will ever need. This is gonna be its own episode eventually, but we just you know haven't uh, gotten around to doing it just yet. I still don't know what that stupid tunnel design thing is. What was I talking about? Oh my God, just, no, just keep walking. Just go, just go. No, I'm not even gonna stop for that slime. Don't even care. But yeah, let's head our way out of here. See if I can not run into the... Oh, man. Oh, oh, wow. I'll probably never do that again in a million years if I tried. Oh, I'm so happy that now we have the now we have the room in here clear. And the good thing is, is I actually have some shulker boxes empty for a change, too. I actually did an end raid recently, replenished all of my colored shulker boxes in here, and we have a shulker box of shulker shells started now because I have so many of these starting to back up, which is good. I'm going to need a lot of excess storage temporarily when we redesign this storage room. I think... I think the way that this is going to happen is it's going to go this way and it's going to go this way simultaneously. We're going to have to expand it out in two separate directions because uh, I really don't want to make it any taller because, I mean, you're already like this. I mean, you can make it like another chest or two probably tall and still reach it pretty easily. But I want to be able to add more stuff along the back walls here. So we're going to push this that way. And then, yeah, this I think is going to go that way because the only other thing that's down there... I mean, the melon and pumpkin farm is that way, obviously, but basically it's just going to run into this corridor here, which that's the melon and pumpkin farm. That's that chunk right there. So uh, if we continue just kind of pushing the storage room this way, there's nothing else over here. This is all just, you know, blank, wide open terrain. So, yeah, I figure we can kind of keep pushing this this way. Our, our slime farm is underneath here. That's where it's going to go anyway. Once we get our slime farm built, we'll, of course, be able to pipe that into our, our automated storage in there so it gets dumped into the storage system. It's going to be great. It's going to be really, really, really good. Also, I finally did a thing. I remember talking about this when I built this melon and pumpkin farm, and I know we've got to go find mangrove wood, and I'm talking, and I just can't stop talking about it. But, but, but. I finally shut off the melon and pumpkin farm. Uh, I have so many melons and pumpkins now. This, like, you should see... Oh, didn't mean to do that. You should see over at the, at the farmer's market, uh, I have a literal ton of melons and pumpkins, like, in chests over there. There's the whole storage room over there that has shulker boxes full of these things. I finally said, enough, no more. Now, I didn't, like, 
tear the farm apart to add in a shutoff switch. Uh, I just destroyed the hopper mine carts. So there's a ton of items, I'm sure, just kind of floating around in space right up in that direction. Tons of melons and pumpkins. Uh, and I'm sure we've been able to probably hear pistons firing while we're hanging out down here. It's still running and the game's not lagging, which I'm happy for. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, I mean, I really do want to do this as a realm again soon and have Mandy and Tommy come back in here and, you know, anybody else who might want to play in here. Uh, I'm hoping it won't lag. Them. I'm hoping it won't lag them out when they come down into the storage room down here, but I guess we're going to find out. All right, Nick, quit talking, quit yakking. Let's get our butts out of here up into the sky. And look, well, we'll go take a nap first. And then we're going to blast off into the distance, into this uh, newly generated terrain for 1.19. And hopefully we're going to find ourselves a swamp, a mangrove swamp, preferably, but I'm pretty sure frogs spawn in a regular swamp too. I want to find frogs first. Uh, but of course, if we find that mangrove swamp, then we are going to tear every single thing we can out of it. So uh, I will join you guys in a mo. Well, would you look at, well, there's a chunk missing there. Would you look at this beauteousness right here? We have stumbled upon a brand new mangrove forest. Oh. Hello. I'm so excited to play around. Like, this is my favorite thing that's been added to 1.19 by far, like the mangrove forest and the frogs and stuff. I'm hoping well, I got to find some frogs, too. I don't know what is. Is that what does the roots or should I do? I don't know what does the roots. I don't know what the best thing is. Let's go up. I want to see if I can find some frogs. Because I would like I brought some. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I would like to find some frogs because I brought some slime balls and I brought some buckets. I would like to breed up some frogs and then get them, uh, get them all. Where, why are there no hippity hops? Did we see any mobs anywhere down here? Also, this is some really weird terrain generation right here. Just this random thing here. But then we see, like, we've got all these mud blocks and stuff. This nice beach next to this. Oh, this looks so cool. This looks so, so cool. I really, really do love this biome. I think we're probably going to have to go on foot here and go, what is that? Is that a mushroom? Oh, no, that's the sky. It just hadn't rendered the blocks out there properly. God, I'm stupid. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad it started raining out because, I mean, you can just zip across the sky with Riptide 3. You can just rip across the sky with, like, absolutely no issues whatsoever. We need to get some mangrove propagules so we can replicate these. Uh, replicate. You great, okay, that one's not ready yet. That one's not ready yet. Ooh, baby. Oh, love it. Wait, wait, why am I missing? Okay, where is my, yes, I want my Silk Touch Axe. And we've also got our Silk Touch Hoe. Because we need to, uh... okay, no, it's totally, so these are muddy mangrove roots, all right? Yes, those are muddy roots, okay. Oh, that is just amazingness. I know you can make mud as well, like by just using dirt, but I kind of just like, I kind of just want to come out here and just scoop up like a whole bunch of this stuff. And well, hopefully, like I said, hopefully find some frogs, but the game doesn't seem like it's too willing to part with any, at least at the mo. I will take all this mud though, like oh, mud, mud bricks, like all these different mud blocks we can we can get in the game now. All these different things. Uh oh, you know it's gonna be nighttime. I should probably sleep. Why am I not asleep here? Tell me there's a bed in here. There is not a bed in here. <laughs> 
what are the chances that I have a bed in one of these other... Hey! Hey! Where did you guys come from? It's going to get dangerous here, like, real quick. How do I not have a bed? What idiot comes to a new biome that's far away from stuff? Maybe in the backup stuff. Backup stuff? No. Dang it. <laughs> Why do I not have any bed? <laughs> Oh, I always do this too. I Husks? Why is there a husk here? Okay, I need to not be here anymore. Because this is going to be dangerous if anything spawns here. So let's just remember we're at like minus 718, 209. Okay. Oh my god, am I poisoned or something? Somehow? Okay, we'll be back. I don't know how foolish this is for me to have tried to come back here at night, but I wanted to take advantage of the rain and everything and use Riptide because, oh my lord, you travel like 50 times faster than you do by rocket. So I want, <laughs> I didn't want to go like trying to do rockets and stuff, but there we go. That's much, much better. Jeez, why am I so stupid? I always take this bed out of things and then I never, ever remember to put it back. So where was I digging before? I was digging out in an area. I kind of want to not destroy the whole swamp right like i kind of want to stick to like that okay i think it was right in here yeah it was it was totally you're totally right in here yeah so let's clear out a couple of these trees here and let's see i mean we got to grab some of these uh some of these leaves and stuff too so we have some of, ooh, there's some of the propules right there we want to make sure we get some of those and then we'll also we'll get some more of these roots and we'll get some of the wood as well oh yeah look at you just right through the wood too oh that's perfect it's perfect let's collect some of this stuff up and i'll join you guys in a moment <gasps> oh i heard you where are you <gasps> i heard it did you guys hear it i heard it i heard it where are you hello <gasps> oh we found a frog <laughs> okay that was a really high-pitched noise and i do apologize for it hello there buddy i'm gonna keep you with me you're gonna I just want you to follow with me. Oh, this isn't job. I can't put him in my offhand. Dang it. Hey, hey, don't, don't run away. I need you. I need you, please. Hey, look at the tasty, tasty I have for you. Don't you love me? Kind of waiting for the, like, these trees are like so big and such a mass of like stuff that like, I don't know if I actually got all of the stuff torn out of it as well we got some propagules we did get some mangrove logs we got some money mangrove roots we got a ton of mud blocks we got a ton of other root blocks as well but i need to find some other frogs because what we need to do is we need to breed a couple of frogs here i'm gonna okay frog don't don't go anywhere please let's get rid of some of this excess junk we've got here oh i did get some leaves as well so i mean we're sitting oh and i have a ton of i never put any of this to no. Projectile protection four. Hey. <laughs> Not bad. We need to find a friend for you. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. All right. We've got two. We've got two. Follow me. Uh, I somehow acquired a third one. I am for oh, Now we got four frogs. Okay. Well, this is good because the more frogs we get, the more uh, little clutches of eggs they'll lay. And I think I basically just have to kind of wait until the eggs hatch, and then I can start scooping the tadpoles in buckets. Yo, I know y'all can jump way higher than this, okay? So can you stop? <laughs> Please. This is perfect. Oh my god. Don't understand why people are so upset with this update like not getting i get like being disappointed you didn't get fireflies and like an updated birch forest but man look at these guys these guys are the best i think it's almost nighttime guys so if you guys could get a move on <laughs> come on hip hop a hip to the hop and a hip hip hop you don't stop some something come on i want to make sure you guys are close to like a good body of water that, that i don't have to go super far to do super a lot with dealing with your nonsense here oh my god these guys are really slow 
At first it was cute, but come on guys, you're killing me here. Literally killing me. Once we get under the sand, I think we're just going to start getting some tasty tasties. And then one of them, it's my understanding, should go plant, uh, should go down to the water and, uh, you know, stick their eggs in the water. Are they not doing it because I've got slime balls? Okay, you're going. You, I like, think, are going as well. I don't know where... where. Okay. He just laid the frog spawn way out. Why is it way out there? Uh-oh. Oh, I just hit the tip. Stupid drowned. Oh my God. I was right. They scattered. They went everywhere. Why is this not letting me scoop him up? Does it have to be a bucket of water first? <gasps> I got him. Oh, these drowned. Okay. Yeah. I go to sleep and it's like, of course, of course, that's when they hatch. Why wouldn't it be? Come here, gay. Okay, there's two. Oh, there's a third one over here. Hop. Okay, did I produce any more? Aside from the one, you know, that I murdered. Because of these stupid drowned getting in my face. I don't think so. Like I said, the problem with the being on the ocean here is they're going to scatter. They're literally going to just scatter like in every direction as soon as they can. Okay, there we go. So we got four. Okay. And three, two, boom, done. Sorry, I decided to hang out and get like a few more <laughs> just i mean we're gonna need them eventually right like we just need them eventually so yeah we've got a ton of different tables now so now i can go visit a bunch of different biomes we can set up just kind of a little frog pond pop some tadpoles in there wait till they grow up into frogs and keep breeding them until we get like a whole ton of different types of frogs because eventually we're going to end up building some kind of frog farm some kind maybe something just because we, you know, I want to get all those beautiful, beautiful frog lights, like the iridescent, the ochre and the pearlescent, I think is what the three names of them are. Can't remember a hundred percent, but I can't wait to get my hands on those frog lights. I really, really love the addition of more lighting options to the game, but that means we got to go into the nether. We got to get a magma cube spawner and all that gross nastiness. So let me collect up all my stuff here and we're going to head back to the mainland. Finally back at home, ladies and gentlemen, and I think we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good. Got tons of propagules so we can grow more mangrove trees whenever we want to. We did get a bunch of the wood as well. A bunch of leaves, bunch of mud, bunch of roots. Uh, it's really, really great takeaway. But this, 16 tadpoles, and I kind of was flying back into the base here, and I kind of thought to myself, you know where it's perfect to put these things? Aside from the fact that I have a zoo type thing here. I could also put them in there, but I've always kind of wanted to find some, and I mean some usage for this thing over here. Ow. Some usage for this thing. Besides to be the home, obviously we've got a little cow farm in here, and we've got our uh, kelp smelters in here. But I would really, really love to utilize more of this space for another kind of farm. And we could put a little kind of makeshift frog farm in here somewhere. Maybe maybe back here in this section or maybe even back in here. It doesn't need to be very big. We don't need a ton of space here. And what I think we'll do is we'll close it in and we'll put a little pond. We'll get like a little lagoon action going so that way we can have some frogs. Uh, we'll get some tadpoles growing in this area here. I don't know exactly what this is classified as 
But then we've got another biome, another a cold biome right on our doorstep right over here. So we're going to end up doing kind of a couple of makeshift things until we get enough different colored uh, of each type of frog in order to get that done. Man, we've really got so many projects still on this island that are just not done, don't we? Insanity. Can't believe it. Who would leave all this mess everywhere? But yeah, I think if we stick a little frog farm down inside of this guy, uh, it, number one, it's going to, like I said, it's going to help us use up some of this space down here. Uh, and yeah, I kind of, I don't know. I'm really down with the idea. We'll put some mud in there. We'll put some water in there. So that way we have a place for the frogs that actually grow in there to kind of come out and, you know, do their froggy business. Like their good ribbity, froggy, hoppity, happy stuff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I swear I don't know. Like even like back in this area, like back here, like it doesn't need to be huge. Uh, and I don't want it to necessarily take up a ton of space, but like, I'm worried that this would be too shallow and the frogs would be able to jump right out over that. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not a hundred percent. Hey, why are you in my farm? Jerk butt. Get out of my farm. I think I just saw kelp going over. Are we? Hello? You know, I kind of really, really love just this like simple little build that I came up with for this frog sanctuary. Welcome back, everybody. And let's just jump in here and check it out. Now, I wish I could get like the little dead bushes from the swamp uh, in here. I don't think you can actually pick those up. I think they turn into sticks even if you try to silk touch them. But we just stuck some coral fans in here just to have a little bit of decoration, a couple of sea pickles outside the water. And we've got a couple of sea pickles inside the water as well. We just closed off this area. This is where this little globe thing that i built up there a long time ago is is sitting so the top of it's covered with tinted glass so we can't get out of here or anything like that so i think now we can just go ahead and plop our tadpoles right down in here and we're going to let these guys grow up and when they grow up they're going to be big beautiful strong frogs and then we're going to be able to use our slime balls which i put somewhere uh, <laughs> i think i put them in here yeah put them in here huh <sighs> We're going to be able to use our slime balls to get these guys bred up, get a more tadpole stuff done in here. But like, I, I kind of like this. I think what we're going to do is I think we're going to take some of these mud blocks and I think we're going to swap them out with some of the muddy mangrove roots just to kind of vary the texture up in here just a little bit. But we don't want to do like a ton of it, right? We don't want to do so much that it becomes kind of overwhelming. I think if we just do like a couple little patches of this, it's at least going to break up uh, the texture in here that much. And you can see this from outside. So we're going to actually do that like that there. And why don't we do one of these in here as well? Got to be careful not to break the glass below because that leads right down into our kelp farm. And we don't need any of the tadpoles getting stuck in there by any means. But yeah, we just kind of like went through here and just did a lot of this stuff actually let's we're just gonna end up having to remove that and replace something else there yeah let's just stick this guy there what i could also try to do is i could get like some stairs maybe flipped upside down and waterlog them and maybe i could stick these on top of them or slabs like top slabs too like if we do the mud bricks or something like that i thought about it and we'll kind of take a look and we'll see if maybe that's uh not another viable option that we could kind of sneak in here because i haven't even played with these mud blocks yet to really see the texture that we can kind of get out of these things but i even like that like that alone adds so much more to all of this kind of want to do one more little splotch of mud right here and yeah we're gonna stick a tube coral fan right there yeah so now we just gotta wait and see what happens when these guys grow up well, it looks like we got a whole bunch more white frogs, which is fine, which is perfectly fine, because this is a type that we need anyway. So let's get these guys breeding up and let's get them making some more tadpoles in our little water pool here. Hopefully they're smart enough to kind of just try to go to the water that's right here next to them. Did we not? I don't know why these guys both still have love hearts. Like, are you not? Do something. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, now we'll have our tadpoles and they'll hatch in here and they'll go into the water and then we'll make even more frogs and on and on and on it go. Don't jump on your eggs, my dude. Yeah. And these guys will just kind of stay in here. They'll just kind of hang out in here and, and they'll have uh, you know, froggy, froggy, good times in here. So basically 
I do want to play around with mud bricks, though. Uh, I do want to see if I maybe can't make some, like, mud brick slabs or something. Maybe stick a couple of them underneath and then waterlog them and then see if we can't get some coral on top of them that looks better. There are a whole lot of happy campers hopping around in there. Welcome back, everybody. It's raining out. It's all so miserable out here. So let's go inside and say hello to our little froggy frogs. Hello, my froggy friends. So you can see in here, we did decide to play around with a lound words with some of the mud bricks and some of the regular mud. I'm not a hundy P on this. I think it's a little bit too big of a contrast. I think you need like this room is too small to kind of chuck this many contrasting blocks in. I think what I really need to do is I really need to stick to the muddy mangrove roots and the mud. Uh, but I didn't, you know, and of course we do have these waterlogged now. So of course we have some coral that's just kind of sitting out here. Oh, also I'm an idiot. Ignore me in that last clip. You can 100% use some shears with the, you know, some goody goody and get these dead bushes. And I think these are a perfect addition in this kind of a, a, a little thing because it's muddy. Maybe it couldn't really grow quite as much. Uh, the only thing that maybe we would uh, want to add in here would be some moss. I think some moss would be absolutely perfect, but that's going to do it for episode. Get 50 ladies and gentlemen 50 episodes of that's my face and it's so close to your face right now hi 50 episodes what, what guys hey hey i i have an outro to do <laughs> 50 episodes of triton craft uh i love it i'm so so thrilled to be back in this world we've got a lot more stuff to go i have to bring the frogs to the nether and we have to construct some kind of rudimentary frog light farm and well i'm recording this in the future like well after i've already completed all this different stuff so i can tell you absolutely for sure things do not 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 go as planned and i decided to get of course a little extra because that's who i am that's just me so I hope that you are prepared for all of that. In the meantime, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below and help me play that algorithm game. And I will see you in the next episode of Triton Craft.